So say this is what your A sounds like. Whoa. Also, I'm sorry, Bo. I just hit it on the table. Hey fiddlers, welcome to today's video. I wanted to make a real quick video just about how to tune by ear. I think this can seem really intimidating, especially if you don't think you have a very good ear, but you can do this. I believe in you. I mean, you know that I believe in you. Guidance is encouraged for the first few times. It's super helpful to have an experienced fiddler or violinist or a teacher who can kind of watch you as you do this the first few times. Make sure that, you know, a string doesn't break or something, which can happen no matter who you are. I once broke one of my students' strings on my first lesson with her. I was kind of surprised she came back. There are many ways to tune a violin. This is my favorite, but it generally does take a little bit of experience. Why should you learn to tune by ear, you might ask? One of the main reasons is it's just the simplest. All you need is an A tone. You can tune the rest of your strings from that one tone. So you could be in a group of fiddlers, someone gives you an A, and that's all you need. You're off to the races. If you wind up liking this video, which I hope you do because I like you. You can get more from me including sheet music and practice tracks for a whole bunch of fiddle tunes at the link in the description. And if you become a Patreon patron of mine, you can vote for future topics for my videos. All right. Let's get down to business and learn how to do this. First of all, you need an A tone, which you can get from a piano, from another fiddler, provided they're in tune. Sometimes that's a a lot to expect from a folk musician. You can get it on the internet, YouTube, that sort of thing. Or you can just use a metronome. Very often they have an A tone, like this one. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna try and match your A string to that tone. So let's give that a try. So that doesn't match the tone. There's that little bit of dissonance. And at first you might not be able to tell very well, is that too low, is that too high? So what you can do is you can just make it super out of tune, so it's really obvious. You can turn your fine tuner way down, and then you're like, okay, it's definitely flat. Then you can work your way back up until you hear it really match and the sound just smooths out. hear that. So you kind of hear that sound of the string just kind of melding with the tuner and there's kind of this like sigh of relief. Just a note about sort of the logistics of how to hold your violin as you're tuning it. I like to hold it kind of snuggled between my chin and my shoulder so I can easily hold it up without my arm and then I reach my hand around over here to use the fine tuners and my bow arm kind of goes over that hand so that way I can play at the same time. Okay, let's say your A string is super out of tune. Then you might need to use these pegs. So say this is what your A sounds like. Whoa. Also, I'm sorry, Bo. I just hit it on the table. In that case, get your A going. And you're gonna hold the fiddle, just resting it maybe on your leg here. And you're going to grab hold of that peg and you're going to turn it, so either this way, so tightening it if it's too flat, or loosening it this way if it's too sharp. This one's way too flat. You can pluck the string while you listen to the tone. And just get it close. Then you can use your fine tuners. All right, now we have our A, so let's get the rest of the strings. We're gonna do this by playing double stops. Double stops are when you play two strings at the same time with your bow, like so. And I do have another video on that if you wanna check it out. Just a quick reminder, which you might not need, but we have an E, A, D, and G string. Each of these are a fifth apart, which means if you start on your A and call that note one, and you count up from there, one, two, three, four, five, the E is five notes away from your A. Same thing from D to A, and same thing from G to D. 
The perfect fifth has a particular sound. It will sound very smooth and beautiful and consonant and like all is right with the world. So something that's good to do as you're getting used to tuning is just listen to a whole bunch of perfect fifths to see what they sound like. And I'm actually gonna play them for you right now so you can just listen to me and get an idea. Here's your A and your E. D and A. G and D. So the next string we're going to tune is going to be your D string. We're going to play that along with the A playing a double stop. And when you're up close to it, you might hear this sort of almost wavy sound. It's almost like it's like wah, 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 wah. or it might just sound dissonant and simply bad. And that's fine. We're going to fix that. Again, you might not be sure if it's too sharp or too flat, so you can always make it way out of tune and then bring it back into focus. And you're listening for that really nice smooth sound that you get when you get a perfect fifth between the D and the A. Here's something that's important to remember. You won't be able to hear whether it is smoothed out and in tune unless your bow speed and weight are consistent. If you're pressing down too hard, you're gonna kind of bend the notes a little bit so it'll sound out of tune even if the strings really are in tune. The other thing is if your bow speed is inconsistent, or if you're kind of wobbling back and forth between the two strings, Again, you're not going to get that smoothness, even if it is in tune, so you have to be really careful just to make sure you're keeping the bow smooth, consistent, and with medium pressure. Alright, let's try the G string. So now we're playing the G and the D together. Alright, we need to fix this. better. Lastly, we're going to play the A and the E strings together. And there you have it. We have tuned the entire violin. We are in tune. We are ready to play. Alright you guys, as always, with so many fiddle topics, there's so much more we could talk about. There are a lot of ways to tune, and this is just one of them, but I'm a huge fan of it because it does develop your ear, and it just makes your life easier as a fiddler. If you'd like more from me, including sheet music and practice tracks for a whole bunch of fiddle tunes, you can get them at the link in the description, and there you'll also be able to vote for topics for my future videos. Thanks guys, happy fiddling, and I will see you very soon.